Three Brothers Vocabulary Definitions Please, check the following words. Divide, V, separate or cut up into parts. Wealth, N, the state of being rich or having a lot of money. Share, N, a part of something or a person's contribution to something. Seek, V, ask for something. Facilities, N, solutions, potentials, or possibilities. Luxury, N, a state of great comfort or richness. Wise, adjective, having or showing experience or knowledge. Maiden, N, an unmarried girl or young woman. Beggar, N, a person who lives by asking for money or food. Recognize, V, identify or remember, someone or something. Stammering, adjective, saying something with difficulty. Confess, V, declare or say that one has done something wrong. Wicked, adjective, evil or morally wrong. Cunning, adjective, tricky or skillful. Alertly, adverb, carefully or cautiously. Watchdog, N, a dog kept to guard a house or a building. Forgive, V, stop feeling angry towards, someone. Behavior, N, the way in which one acts. Three Brothers Once upon a time there lived three brothers. They were Ali, Hassim, and Khalil. Before their father died, he asked his sons to divide the wealth into three equal shares. After their father's death, they divided the wealth into three parts. Ali started a business in the same place. Hassim and Khalil let the place to seek knowledge and learn from the opportunities. Ali's business improved very well and he had all the facilities of luxury and lived happily. One day he found Lila, a wise maiden who had magical powers. They got married and lived happily. She led a loving life, serving her husband. Ali's brothers visited all the places in the kingdom. Their part of wealth was spent up. So they became beggars. One day they came to Ali's shop and begged. Ali took some coins and went near the beggars. When he was ready to give the coins, he recognized their voices. Ali was shocked at their look. What happened to you, said Ali in a stammering voice. We lost whatever you gave us. Oh brother! Our business failed because of our carelessness. They confessed. Ali said. Don't worry brothers. What we have now is ours, come on. We shall go to our home. They went to Ali's house with a wicked plan to kill their brother Ali at any cost. Lila also looked after them very well. But she found out their wicked plan to kill Ali through her magical power. Ali gave them each thousand gold coins and said, You start some business here and come up in life. Hassim said, We have a plan to go east. You also come along with us. You bring Lila also. There we can earn more and shall live together. Khalil also accepted the idea of Hassim. Ali and Lila accepted their idea. But Lila knew the cunning plan of Hassim and Khalil. All of them set off on a voyage to the east. The two wanted to kill Ali in the voyage itself. Lila watched them carefully with her magical power. Hassim and Khalil pushed Ali into the sea. Lila followed them alertly. She took Ali to the ship again with a rope. When they returned home, she, with her magical power, had said some words to the brothers and sent them to their house as watchdogs at the gate. When Ali and Lila returned home, Ali saw two dogs in the gate tied with a rope. Lila said, The dogs are your wicked brothers. I turned them into dogs. Ali became sad and said, Please forgive them and make them as men again. But Lila said, now it is not possible because the spell is for a limited years. Until then I cannot change them. So they lived as dogs for ten years and then were changed as men. Then they felt sorry for their behavior and lived with Ali helping him in the business. <laughs>